morning, my name is Roger Kamster, and I'm the director of student ministries here. This is my wife, Stephanie, and our daughters, Bethany, Molly, and Lizzie. We light these candles so that the visual picture stamped in our minds might reverberate throughout the Advent season. This year, the wreath symbolizes our heart, and the flame of these candles represents Jesus, the light of the world. As each candle is lit week by week, the light of Christ grows brighter and brighter in our hearts. Let every heart prepare him room. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 21 through 25. Since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not know him, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand signs, and Greeks look for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and in the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom. Three weeks ago, we lit the candle of the average heart. Two weeks ago, we lit the candle of the preoccupied heart. Last week, we focused on the unaffected heart. We're calling today's candle the candle of the offended heart. It represents the heart that sees Jesus as a threat instead of a savior. We light it, signifying that Jesus himself is the cure, rather than the threat. The light of the world exposes the idolatry hidden beneath expressions of offense at who Jesus is and what he says. There is room in my heart for you. 